No. When I was younger, I felt that my level of ambition was a lot different. And I wouldn't say that it was higher per se, but just modified different. I feel that when I was younger, you know, maybe three to five years ago, I was always going, you know, and I was also around people that were always going because I learned from people that that is essentially how you get things done. I just modeled what successfully ambitious people did. But I started to take note of the other side of ambition, the shadow of ambition, if you will. You know, I, I find it, excuse me, I find it, I don't know what I'm saying. I, uh, I found myself experiencing and observing in others. Constantly looking for more, right? Constantly wanting to elevate and grow and, and advance and increase and, and see more and get more, and, you know? And it distracted people I see, and I started to see it in myself. It distracted us from really appreciating who we are and where we are currently and the people that we have and the things that we have, you know, and, and staying really grateful in the present moment. You know, it seemed like there was never really a time to rest, a time to recharge, a time to observe and absorb and really express your satisfaction for what you have done, you know? Ambition is very tricky in that sense because we're told we should only be happy or appreciate life after we accomplish our ambitions, you know? And I saw that, and I still see, that it's these types of attitudes that really put a dent on people's health. It really deteriorated people's health from the inside and out. You know, constantly putting themselves under so much pressure to advance and grow and expand and and do more, you know, not eating, not sleeping, not socializing, you know, not doing what really a human is supposed to be doing. I understand that oftentimes this is the process to achieve great things. However, I've, I've seen in my personal experiences, the way that I'm designed, the way that I'm set up and the way that I succeed and really am satisfied with life is a much more innovative route of ambition, if you will. A much more adventurous route. You know, I find myself constantly being placed in the right positions with the right people to present the right opportunities when I allow myself to simply be. When I allow myself to be who I am, when I allow myself to connect with those that are ready to hear the message, that can understand the message, that need the message, 
and recognizes my gifts. I feel myself in those situations. Achieving much more than in contrast to constantly trying to make things happen, trying to force growth, putting growth as the forefront or the primary objective of life. You know, and I think, you know, it's amazing when I look at people, though, and even myself, that ambition definitely serves its value. And I think that a lot of a lot more people need it, right? But the, the reason is because I'm amazed what people do and what they accomplish when they feel they have to do it. You know, there's a lot of people that simply think that they don't have to do things, that the relationships with their family, the relationships with their intimate partners, their financial situations, their living situations, and things of this nature can just be, you know, taken care of tomorrow or some other time. It doesn't have to be taken care of right now, you know, that there's always another day. <clears throat> the cold truth is, though, there's not always another day, you know. Our days are numbered, and we don't really know what's going to happen. Now, I don't, I don't think we should live in fear anyway and adopt such a belief to that extreme. But I think that, ultimately, it's about knowing yourself listening to your body listening to your mind trusting your intuition and understanding that ambition is needed but gratitude and bliss and oneness silence and being completely immersed in the moment is actually what keeps people grounded and alive and healthy. You know, we can't constantly go, 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 but we can't constantly just chill and chill and chill. I think, though, that in certain cases, you know, you have to go on your own discretion because if you chill too much, then you might want to work a little bit more. And if you work too much, you might want to chill a little bit more, you know? But I think that when we really look at the the market, you know, um, look at the global market and all of the occupations and all of the people that work within them, I truly believe that many people can use a lot more flow in their life and simply trust in themselves, to be themselves, to know that they are everything that they need and some. And they don't have to limit themselves to doing it a certain type of way in the name of ambition, in the name of success, in the name of something that may not be their path. You know, I think it's really important, man to to hear this message to understand this message you know i spoke on the condition in japan kurosho you know people are literally dying from fatigue overexerting themselves at work because it is that <clears throat> desire it is that belief that you have to work to prove your worth that is that has some serious consequences you know and i and i see similar patterns 
in America amongst the youth. I'm 26 years old. I know people my age that were very ambitious, that are still very ambitious, but have a lot of health issues, a lot of stress, a lot of cardiac, cardiovascular issues. Some people have had strokes. Some people have had serious problems health-wise because they just don't know when to fucking stop and when to really appreciate what they have in this life. I think that if I could sum this up, I'll try to. I would say that you can do whatever you want at any time if you really, really think and know or believe that you have to do it. But the truth is you never really have to do it. And if you can appreciate those moments where you are just, you know what, I don't have to do it right now. Finding that balance between knowing when you have to do something and believing that you can and just accepting, you know what, I don't have to do it right now. I, I need to, right now, I need to appreciate where I am at this given moment. I think that is the best message I could provide tonight. So, sorry it took a little bit to get to this point, but you know how it goes. It's the cleanse.